Hello, Michel Juvet. Hello. The Fed has raised its rates for the first time since the financial crisis of 2008. Is this a sign that 2015 was not such a bad year after all and that 2016 looks promising? Yes, uh, actually, when a central bank raises interest rates, it's a positive sign. You cannot imagine a central bank raising interest rates just in front of a recession. No, th the surprise today is that the forecast we make for next year are looking similar to the one we are making at the end of 2014 but for the year 2015. Mm, how is that? Because remember, at the end of last year, we are forecasting growth of 2.5% for the US, one5 for Europe, and a slowdown in China. And that's exactly what's going to happen again next year, probably. So the markets in 2016 could be like the markets in 2015. In other words, not very attractive. Yes, but uh, the two factors we are negative for markets are, are moving away. Number one, the profits are really recovering now. And we see that in Europe. And profits will be really higher next year in, in, in Europe. And the second factor, which was related to commodities prices, these prices, due to this new more positive environment will stabilize and that will help all the emerging economies. Therefore, no new risk factors. Well, actually, there are always uh, risk factors and there are two major problems uh, for the next few years. Number one is related to the US monetary policy. Uh, just remember, as you said before, that people have been accustomed since seven years to live with zero interest rates in the US and Europe as well, by the way. So when you change that, you change a sort of paradigm. So that means people will have to adjust, and we don't know exactly how they will adjust to that new way of living with higher interest rates. And there is a second factor to not forget. Just remember that the credit has been more or less doubled, the private credit has doubled among emerging countries. And in the US, the private credit has uh, increased by 20%. So when you increase the cost of um, the credit, it will have an impact on all these economies. And the other challenge? And ch is China again. Um, but it's no more related to the economy, it's related to the power. Just remember that if uh, the president is removed next year, that means China will make a big jump backwards in the meaning that they will start to devalue the currency, start to stimulate exports, and that will be a major problem for the world economy. So a good year ahead, but we'll have to keep an eye out for the risks that you mentioned. Yes, and but particularly on the interest rates. More we're moving ahead in the year, more interest will be higher, and then it will have an effect at the end on the US uh, economic growth as well. So you, you will have to, to watch closely the, the level of interest rates during the year of uh, 2016. And on a more positive note? Well, the positive will come from the emerging countries probably, because as I said, if we have this uh, stabilization of commodities prices, that, with, that will help these uh, economic emerging countries to stabilize, stabilize as well. Um, uh, but probably at the beginning of next year, uh, there will be two major events. There will be a lift on sanct of sanctions against Russia and Iran. And probably that will be the signal to attract the, the global investors they will remember that these countries have enjoyed a major depreciation in their currencies and they are companies in these countries which will be able to export massively uh, to the US and to Europe. Thank you very much, Michel Juvet. Thank you.